and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have an exciting new video for you guys. It's probably going to be a few day long process, but I'm going to be redesigning my doll room in my parents' basement. Uh, and by doll room, I mean also my, like, my YouTube studio. Like I also do crafts down here and that sort of thing. So, um, and it's an unfinished basement. As you can see, it's kind of in rough shape <laughs> but uh, we're gonna redesign it I have to go to Walmart and buy some more storage things but I'm just going through it right now to see what kind of storage things I need to buy I'm thinking about redoing the doll room because I'm thinking about doing a rebrand on my channel just thinking about it not too for not I definitely want to make some changes to my channel so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I have a few ideas um, so to redoing the doll room might help with that so I thought maybe you guys would want to see this process of how I redesign my doll room in this unfinished basement and without further ado let's get started so I guess I should do maybe like a tour of what my doll room craft room is like so this is the stairs you come down the stairs and you can either go that way which has like Christmas seasonal de like decor storage and then I turn around here and I have the doll room. So over here we have my American Girl dollhouse. Then I do have my screen here which is probably gonna get moved um, because I don't really like the spot it's in right now. This is the bins that all my American Girl stuff is in and it's organized by like I don't want to say decade but like time period. I have a dollhouse here which originally had my Ever After High dolls all displayed and then I had to move the dollhouse because of a hurricane and they all fell over and I haven't put them back up yet and I don't know if I want to put them in the dollhouse. I'm thinking about maybe just getting rid of the dollhouse because it's really old. Got it in like 2007. Then I have my crafting table here and ignore the toilet paper as you said. As I've said I'm very very sick right now so I'm just blowing my nose all the time. That's probably a little gross there but it is the truth. So this is my crafting table as you can see it's also a mess. Then in this thing over here I have all of my crafting stuff. So I have, fa oh, well, I'm supposed to have fabric on the bottom, but there was a hurricane coming and we were worried about flooding. So yeah, that is what the dollhouse looks like right now. I have a lot of work to do and I think maybe I should maybe get a donation bin to like get rid of the things because maybe I just have too much stuff, which is a possibility. Um, or maybe I just need to be a little bit more organized. So I'm just going to just, I'm one of those people, I guess I have to work with my hands. Maybe we'll tidy up, see if that does anything. I don't know, let's see. Okay, here's a little update. So this is the corner of the doll room. So I push this table all the way to the quote unquote wall over there. Um, and that gave me a little bit more space. So I just kind of switched the dollhouse over here, which will be like a temporary shelf. I still think I'm going to keep it because it's like a shelf. I can use it as a shelf and I don't have to pay any more money. I already have it, so it's essentially free. Um, and it is kind of cute. So I'll keep it as a doll shelf for now. Um, and then I have the American Girl storage bins here. And then this is a shelf that I, I have a shelf upstairs in my room right now and it's kind of empty. I'm not really using it. Um, originally bought it for a dollhouse for my American Girls but it's kind of just a little bit too small for how many American Girls I actually have. But I do have one of the shelves here which I will put into the, doll uh, the house. But this is how big and wide the, doll uh, the uh, shelf will be. I'm thinking about just putting it at an angle in this corner here. That way I can film like right here. I put a chair Okay, so here we are in my bedroom. This is the shelf that I'm going to 
bring down to the basement. As you can see, I got one and two cats in here. My room is a mess. I mean, I literally just made my bed for this video. Um, <laughs> I have my two cats. That's the bin I'm gonna put my the rainbow high dolls in and bring them down to the basement. Also some of my monster high. Um, and then, yeah, just because this shelf is pretty bare and it's probably gonna be more useful in the basement. Okay, this is what the doll room looks like now. Brought down the doll house, or doll, sh the doll shelves, and it was a lot of work. I got my mom to help me because the stairs were kind of tricky. I mean, they're not too heavy, it's just, it was awkward getting down the stairs. And then I have all my rainbow high dolls in here. I just threw them in here to bring them down. But I think I'm gonna call it a night because I have to go to work in a little bit, so I, We'll save this for another day. Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is later that evening, um, so that's why the lighting is a little bit different. But I'm gonna show you everything that I bought to redecorate the room. I think I spent around $160 for everything, which is really good. I did buy a shelf for $30 to replace this shelf to put in my room, so that's technically not in the doll room, but I did spend like 30 bucks on that, so. There was that, uh, but I guess I'll just start with everything. Um, so I got this rug, which is gonna go in the corner here, and I got it for $30. Got these two garbage uh, bins. One's gonna be recycling, one's gonna be garbage. Then I have these little um, drawers here, which fit perfectly. This is taped up right now, but I tested this in the store. Like this slides right in there. So I'm gonna put all their purses and line them up. And so you can pull that out and then all the purses will be all clean and then I'll put something here. Um, then um, I got these bins here, so the same deal. Probably gonna put them like in here and put like maybe their necklaces and jewelry and stuff like that, I'll put that in there. And I bought five of these, so these aren't just for the doll room, but they're gonna be, I love little bins like that. They make my life so much easier. So I got a whole bunch and those were $10 for five, so $2 each. And then, I don't know how much this one was. Um, and the garbage bins were like six dollars. Six or seven dollars. Then I bought this ribbon from Michaels because I also went to Michaels and I got this two dollar ribbon which was really cool. And then this little tub which I'm gonna show you with an American Girl in it because it fits the American Girls so well. All right, so here's just Mary Ellen in the tub here. As you can see, she fits perfectly. I made sure that I could return it because if it didn't fit, I would get rid of it, or I would return it, I mean, and it was originally like $50, so I got it for like, it was 60% off, so I got it for like 20 and it has these really cool like feet, and it's very retro, which is what my dollhouse is like. Wasn't originally going to have a bathroom in it, but I saw this and I had to have it. So cute, and I love how she fits in it perfectly. Over here, I have some costumes that I got. My Life, we never get the My Life as Christmas or Halloween stuff, so when I saw these, I was so excited. And I got an Elsa one, I got a Little Red Riding Hood one, and a witch one. I totally impulse. Um, definitely gonna keep the Frozen one. The other ones, I'm not too sure, but then I can make a video on it. I did already buy two, like, my My Life As coats, so maybe I'll do, like, a video of reviewing My Life As clothing. Because I'm not a fan of everything, but, you know, there is like one or two outfits that they release that I am really a big fan of. Still haven't seen like the world traveler outfits from my life as in Canada, so um, I don't know if we're ever gonna get those, which is sad because I liked the coat, the winter coat, it was really nice. But yeah, that's the haul I got. So it was all like $160, including the shelf, which is not gonna go in here. So I think that was pretty good. I was planning on spending 200 and I ended up getting 200 or like 190 with this and this bathtub, which is doll stuff, but not doll decorating room. So yeah, so really cool. Oh, also I didn't realize that this one was much shorter than the other ones. I mean, there wasn't even anything bigger than this. So I guess they're just making them smaller now.
Okay, a lot has happened since the last clip, uh, but my camera basically got full on my memory card and it took hours to bring everything over. It was crazy. But I set up um, the shelf and I think I decided I want Frozen and Disney on the bottom, or the second bottom. The bottom, that one is probably just going to be storage. Then we have Rainbow High, then more Rainbow High. This would be like my favorite Rainbow High dolls because you like, I'm going to set up a chair here so I can film and then this will be my background. So the, my favorite Rainbow High goes up here and then this vintage uh, Barbie trunk, which uh, has all their clothes. Then Monster High is going to go on the top here and then Ever After High is going to go in this dollhouse here. Now I still have this bin full of dolls. Most of it's like Monster High. So I'm going to put that put some stands up and put the dolls there. Don't know what I'm going to do with Barbie and I think I'm going to get rid of some of the dolls. Um, but that's just kind of an update of, you know, this. And I want to get this all done tonight. I mean, it is currently, let's see, 7.07. .07. Yes, my background is of Samantha from Samantha Learns a Lesson. Um, so, 7.07, .07, maybe I can get this done by 9, give it two hours. I gotta make labels and organize all this. Gotta put all this away, so, and the vacuum cleaner's down here still, and this is the dollhouse. So, it's kinda crazy, but let's see if we can get it all done. So here is the Ever After High display. So I just have some of the dolls set up in here in this Barbie doll house. Makes for a really good shelf. I mean, this bottom part falls out all the time and it has for probably over a decade. So it's not the most sturdiest thing in the world, but it is free, I haven't paid for it. I mean, I did, and that was like 2007. My parents gave it to me for Christmas. So I'm still gonna use it as a shelf, just, because then I don't have to go out and buy another shelf. So, yeah, that's the uh, Ever After High, and it's right next to the other dolls. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create labels for all the bins here, and then I'm going to, with this label maker, I'm gonna make some labels. Uh, so this is all gonna be historical, um, from oldest to newest, ending in modern times. So first we have, you know, Felicity, Caroline, uh, Kirsten and my custom Marta doll and then from Kirsten stories and then I have um, Felicity and or sorry um, Mary Grace Cecile Samantha and Nellie kind of Victorian right there and then I have um, 1940s and 50s there and then the two modern so the first modern is official brand and like Maple Lee or um, American Girl, and then the bottom one is off-brand. Then over here I'm gonna have my coats, Christmas, pajamas, uh, don't know about the next one, and then this is gonna be doll stands and the American Girl magazines.
All right, everybody, this lighting makes me look really spooky, but are you ready for the doll room slash YouTube studio slash sewing room reveal? I don't think you are ready, but if you are, I'm gonna show you. And ta-da, here we go. And then we have the dollhouse over here. So I'm gonna give a little bit more in depth of a tour now. So over here we have the YouTube backdrop, which originally I think I was gonna like, was that just a spider? No, that's just a fluff. Okay, good, because I'm terrified of spiders. <laughs> but here is the, my backdrop for YouTube. I do have a green screen and I do have a, a white version of this. So um, I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave it up because it doesn't really affect anything. Uh, but I was thinking about taking it down, but I, th I think it looks okay here. Over here, we have the doll shelves, so I'm planning on putting a chair here when I'm doing like Monster High videos, Rainbow High videos, anything that's type of fashion doll, I'm gonna film in front of these dolls here. So we have a red bin here, which has some more dolls in it. Don't know if I'm gonna pull them out and display them because I kinda look like the, the look it is right now with my absolute favorites out. I'm also thinking about getting rid of some of my dolls. Don't worry, I'm not leaving YouTube or anything. It's just I have so many dolls. This shelf here with my Ever After High dolls. Then I have Monster High at the top because it's the kind of new, new fun thing. Then we have two shelves for Rainbow High. Then we have my Frozen stuff. And then the bottom shelf here, I'm gonna get some bins and put some things down there. And But I, I'm thinking about maybe putting up some Rainbow High or Monster High posters here. I mean, if I found American Girl posters, that would be amazing, but um, those are really hard to find because I live in Canada, so I wouldn't be able to find that kind of thing. But thinking like Monster High is probably my best bet. I could probably go to Walmart and buy some Monster High posters and put them on the walls here because I can't hang pictures because it's concrete, but I can hang up posters, so I might try to find something to put on the walls here. And then I just have a little rug here because, I don't know if you can see, there's a little gap between the wall and the concrete and that's because I'm assuming because when you live in a cold climate like I do, when it becomes winter time, things shrink and expand due to the cold and the heat so you kind of need this little bit of gap so it doesn't like ruin anything. So I had to put this rug down just to make sure that if like a little accessory fell off it didn't fall into this crack and would be lost forever. So I put this little carpet down. Um, hopefully it works. I got it for like 30 bucks. Was I thought it was bigger. It turns out it wasn't. But it's okay. I like the design. And over here we have the American Girl stuff. I'm thinking about getting another bin here just like this one for these dolls here. So I can put all the Rainbow High stuff together. I do have these extra wigs um, that I, I'm, not, I'm not ready to quite throw out, but they're so nasty. Um, this is Felicity's old wig. This is Clara old wig from Maple Leaf Girl. So I'm not ready to quite throw them out yet because Felicity still has her pin curls. So I'm thinking about maybe cutting off the pin curls and then putting it on the new Felicity wig because I just bought a wig from Amazon that matched the color, but wasn't an official American Girl wig. But anyways, I'm thinking about keeping those. So maybe I'll put like, the supplies and the Rainbow High stuff in there, if that makes sense, in the exact same one that is this, because I can't find these big ones anymore, but I can find these ones. So maybe I'll do that. Moving on over here, we have the craft table, which is just one of those foldable tables that my family has had for ages. Then I have these two trash bins, one's recycling, one's garbage. Then I have this cardboard thing, which I used to paint, and there's most of my lens cap for my camera. Um, this is all supposed to go in the dollhouse, which I will sit down and do one day toilet paper because I've been sick and sneezing all the time. Then over here, this is the stuff I need for videos. So I'm thinking about doing a My Life As review video because I bought this stuff from Walmart. Thinking about returning that bathtub to Michael's because I don't really know if I want a bathroom in my dollhouse. And it cost me $25, so, you know, I'm thinking about returning it, so that's why it's here. And then I just have a doll that didn't fit anywhere else. A Mary Grace's hat, which I need to repair. And then my glasses bag. And then I have the bins, which can store all of my dolls in there. They normally can like slide under your bed and stuff, but they're perfect size for American Girl because they don't get squished on top of each other. So those go there. Over here, we have kind of my craft closet. Uh, I got this at a garage sale for 10 bucks and it was, I mean, it's pretty old, but I mean, it was 10 bucks and I just moved, so. 
Um, here is what it looks like. I kind of just tidied it up. Fabric on the bottom along with that stuffing that you put in like pillows and stuff. Ribbons. Ribbons are in that bin there or that bag there. Just kind of like loose ribbons. The ones on like a roll are put in there. Probably going to need a bigger bin but I thought this will do for now. And then I have an iron. This is just a bag of plastic bags. Always need those. So I just have them kind of kicking around. Then I have my Rosetta Stone, which isn't really a craft thing, but it's kind of cool. Then I have my sewing machine and my roll of glitter paper and some craft <laughs> paint. This has patterns in it. Then I have some more patterns up there. And this is just miscellaneous, like glue guns and um, needles. Like, not needles. What are they called? Pins. And this all has thread at the bottom along with some other miscellaneous stuff there. Then this is just kind of like my princess area for when I did princess themed TikToks, like cosplay kind of stuff. Thinking about getting back into it, but I'm so busy. I'm, uh, I hate being one of those people that are like, I'm so busy, but I am like really busy lately. Um, but I just have some cr like costume crowns and if I get back into it, I will need this stuff. I have a piano here which I have no idea where I'm gonna put it uh, but then this is the big American Girl dollhouse and how I built this dollhouse and I'm gonna do an updated tour because I did already post a tour video when it was over in this corner but I updated it and I do like it a lot better because I put the sheet in the back so it's a little bit you know better in my opinion it looks a little more cozy and girly and I just like it better. And over here we have the living room area. Back there we have the kitchen with Kirsten and Marta. Um, then we have the dining room and then we have Mary Grace and Cecile's bedroom which Samantha and Nellie sleep on one and Mary Grace and Cecile sleep on the other. Then I have my 1940s room. It's kind of cool. It's pretty nostalgic because I used to make these bunk beds like this. It's just the American Girl doll boxes. And Mary Ellen's story does have a bunk bed in it. In her room, she has a bunk bed. So this is like the 1940s and 50s room, which it's not the best right now, but it's kind of cool. And then we just have this main area here, which just has their hair stuff. Don't really know what I'm gonna do, like what kind of room I'm gonna do there. I'm thinking maybe like a modern girly sparkly room because that's my personality. And, and we have Sage passed out in the Pioneer bedroom. And you're probably like, why is there skulls in a bin? I don't know, I'm working on like maybe doing a witch room for my doll Jonathan and Alice because they're time travelers. And Jonathan is a witch, spoiler alert. <laughs> he, he loves the little witchcraft stuff. Um, so I'm thinking about making like a Halloween spooky room for him. It's not packed, it just has a lot going on, which is awesome. And I love how I'm able to do all my interests in this room. So I have YouTube, um, American Girl, crafting, so I feel like I do sewing and stuff, and then a Mark American Girl, and then my other dolls here. So I like how everything's together now because before I had those dolls up in my room, and it was just, it just didn't make sense. So I just love having everything down here. And I haven't talked about it, or maybe I have, I don't know, but I still live with, live with my parents. So this is technically my parents' basement, but they're really not using it. I mean, it's unfinished. There's not really much you can do with it. So yeah, that has been a tour of my updated doll room slash craft room slash YouTube studio. I'm thinking of just calling it my studio because like, I don't know, that's kind of what it is because I do crafting videos on this channel occasionally. I want to do more of those. I do doll videos, obviously, and then of course, YouTube. So I think it's really cool and I love what I did with the place and hopefully you guys liked it too. If you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to see more doll collecting and crafting videos there. So um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.